the thick of the first heat alert of the summer. The pandemic is adding more urgency to health risks associated with hot weather. The Quebec government, under pressure to protect its vulnerable populations, especially residents in long-term care facilities. Many of those homes are facing nine, uh, COVID-19 outbreaks. They have been isolating residents in their rooms, but keeping them cool is going to require new action. As we're going to learn, so few of those rooms have individual air conditioning units. Jay Turnbull is on the story for us and he's live in Montreal right now. A beautiful day, Jay, a hot day. And I know that advocates are very concerned. I mean, pretty grim concerns about long-term care residents. Some advocates have actually been saying we're going to lose people because of the heat now. Well, I mean, before COVID-19, Heather, we lose people in, in heat waves. I don't know this is technically a heat wave, but it's it's hot enough that, yes, it can be deadly. Now, you think about one-third of all the uh, seniors' uh, residences' rooms have air conditioning, only a third. So, you know, prior to the COVID-19, what they would do is they try to put all the seniors in a common room, keep that room cool, and they would keep people safe. A bit more complicated, obviously, uh, in the face of COVID-19. You're, you're not able to mix the residents as much as you could before. You, you, know, you don't want to have that cross-contamination. Cross uh, now, we spoke to a, um, a patient's rights activist, and he says uh, every single room across Quebec should have air conditioning. They live there. They need to be comfortable and safe. Is that asking too much? That's Paul Bernay. He says this should have been taken care of years ago. He's been fighting for this for more than a decade now. So what is the province saying? Obviously very, very concerned about what's going on in the long-term care facilities, Jay, and now a whole layer of new concern for the province. And what has the response been? Well, Heather, it's May. I mean, so have it have a this hot this early. The government admits it was sort of caught off guard. So it's doing what it can, it says, to try to uh, uh, make things as cool as possible, basically. You know, again, you, you can't mix those residents. So uh, here's the health minister, Daniel McCann, sort of explaining what they're trying to do. We're talking about with uh, Generatrice, uh, those equipment that you can add uh, to a building and through the window and you can uh, climatize uh, a room will probably go with that. So the heat wave is also having an impact on COVID-19 testing in the province. Some mobile testing units uh, are either closed the next few days until Friday or working reduced hours. Now, health officials decided it's just it's too hot for those people who are working inside those tents outside. You know, they're covered in their, their personal protective equipment. It, it, it's hot uh, wearing all that stuff. They don't really get breaks. So they decided to uh, some of those mobile clinics to shut down until Friday. We're expecting temperatures to hit uh, mid to maybe even high 30s. You know, when you fi figure in the, uh, the the humidex, the heat index, it could be very, very tough for people over the next few days. Uh, one good uh, bit of news, though, is the evenings will not be quite as warm, so it'll get a, give a chance to for things to cool down during the during the night, Heather. Jay, thanks very much. Really appreciate that. Jay Turnbull in uh, beautiful Montreal for us this morning.